Good day, everyone. My name is Ramilin Kinisho, your assigned reporter. And for today's topic, we will able to discuss the relevance and appropriateness in the use of technology in teaching and learning. So in this time of advancement, technology has been very important in all fields of our society. So the educational sectors embraces and recognizes the involvement of technology towards teaching and learning. Moreover, because of some circumstances, such as what we are facing now, which is the pandemic, technology help teachers and students to access and to enhance the learning in everyday life. So why we use technology? First, for interactivity. Next, content delivery division. Next, managing learning and resources. So with the technology, we can encourage self-paced learning, lalo na sa mga students. So ang laking tulong ng te- technology, lalo na sa mga online assignments, so that they can advance at their own. And also, it can access any information at Google and other at app platforms. Um, so, it is very convenient and easy to use. Next, collaboration. So, with the technology, most of the students, um, we, ca- we can e- collaborate on almost anything, anytime with the internet connection. So, using technology can make easier for students to work together within outside of, of the classroom, lalo sa mga group tasks and some activities. Next, communication. So, nowadays, technology speeds up communication between people and technology, provides convenience to use more than one method communication which is the face to face interactions so so ngayon maraming taong pwedeng makagamit na makagamit like ng social media na kung saan pwede tayo makapag-communicate sa mga kaibigan natin, relatives natin through Facebook, Viber Next, sa email, pwede ta- may, may kipag-communicate tayo by sending some documents, pwede rin images, and so on and so forth. And also the chat messengers, and in video conferencing, and more. Next, variety of teaching learning preferences. Next, formative and summative assessment. So, with the technology, it can be used in formative and summative assessments in many different ways. Kagaya ng ginag... Different ways gamit yung mobile phones, laptops, tablet, na adalasan gamit natin for learning. Kagaya ng ginagawa natin ngayon sa online class, na assess yung learning natin sa pamagitan ng yung Google Forms, some quizzes, in Moodle, WizMaker if you're familiar, and other apps. So next, these are the benefits of using technology in the classroom. So first, it improves engagement. So when the technology integrated into the lesson, students are expected to be more interested in the subject that they are studying. And technology provides different opportunities to make learning more fun and enjoyable in, te- in terms of teaching same things in the new ways. So, through technology, di lang tayo natututo at the same time nag-enjoy din tayo. So, 
convenient siyang gamitin for teaching and learning. Unlike sa traditional way of learning na totoo talagang classroom. And for instance, delivering teaching through gamification, taking students on virtual field trips, and using other learning resources. So like for example, ng mga online game application na nakakatulong to assess our le- learning um example doon ay yung Quizlets, yung Kahoot, Cord Og, um the Ed Puzzle and any other game applications. And also, technology can encourage a uh, more active participation in the learning process, which can be hard to achieve through the traditional lecture environment. Next, technology can improve knowledge retention. So, the students will engage interested in things that they are studying are expected to have a better knowledge retention. So, as I mentioned before, technology can help to encourage active participation in the classroom, which is very important factor for increased knowledge. knowledge. There are different forms of technology that can be used to experiment, experiment with and decide what works best for the students in, term, in terms of retaining their knowledge. So next, encourages individual learning. So, no one learns in the same way because of different learning styles and we have a different abilities. So technology provides a great opportunities for making learning more effective for everyone with different needs. So, like for example, diff- students can learn at their own speed. They can view, review difficult concepts or skip ahead if they need to. So, and also, technology can provide more opportunities for, stra- for struggling or disabled students. So, yung, techno- yung technology, malaki na tutulong sa atin. Hindi lang para sa ating mga normal, kundi para din sa mga estudyante na may mga disabled na estudyante. So, they can access to the internet and give students access to a broad range of resources to conduct research in different ways. Which is, in turn, can in- increase the engagement. So, next encourages collaboration. So, students can practice collaboration skills by getting involved in different online activities such as yung Quizlet and other application and also working in different projects by collaborating with the other with others on the forum or by sharing the documents in a virtual learning environment. And also technology can encourage a co- collaboration with the students in the same classroom. So next, students can learn useful life skills through technology. So by using technology in the classroom, both teachers and the students, they can develop skills essentials for the for the 21st century. Students can gain their their skills they will need to be successful in the future. And also technology can help develop many practical skills including creating presentations, um, learning to differentiate reliable and unreliable resources to the internet and also maintaining proper online etiquette. So these are very important skills that they can be developed in the classroom. So lastly, benefits for teachers. So with countless online resources, 
Technology can help improve also teaching. So teachers can use different apps or trusted online resources to enhance the traditional ways of te teaching and to keep students more engaged. So, through technology, mas pinadali yung way of pagtuturo o pag-deliver ng mga lessons sa mga students compared sa traditional way of teaching, which is yung face-to-face, -face, na kung saan nakakapagturo yung teacher sa students kahit pa tayo ay nasa bahay, natututo pa rin tayo. So, through virtual lesson plans, grading software and online assessments can help teachers to save a lot of time. So, this valu valuable time can be used for working with students who are struggling. So, having virtual learning environments in schools enhances collaboration and knowledge sharing between the teachers. Next, use of technology in teaching and learning. So, technology ushers in fundamental structural changes that can be integral to achieving significant improvements in productivity, used to support both teaching and learning. So, technology infuses classroom with digital learning tools such as computers and handheld devices and expand course offerings, experiences, and learning materials. That's all, thank you.